What's up, guys? It's Loser Loser. Bleh. Loser Lubot 69 here, and this is the first episode for Stepping Up the Counter Strike Go. Yay! And, well, this was really weird when I first played this because it was the first time I played it since one of the recent updates. And they've got warm up rounds now, which are really good. I, I like how they're done. You pretty much got the full amount of money. You buy whatever you want. And yeah, it's pretty good. Although, I reckon they could have just a little bit more time. Or they could just let the whole round go as a warm-up round. Which would be a good adjustment. Alright, so... Pretty much what we're going to cover in this series is... News about the game. What's going to be in the new game. And... What I would like to see in the new game. And if you like, you can comment on what you would like to see in the new game. And, um, this is D.E. Nuke, if I'm correct, this map that I'm playing at the moment, and this was on Counter-Strike 1.6 and Counter-Strike Source, and as what happened from uh, 1.6 to, to Source, the map's been upgraded to look pretty good if you ask me. I really like how they've done the maps, they're really good. And they've changed all the skins as well on the characters which are very nice. I like them a lot. Alright, now while I was away this game was actually meant to be released however there's been a delayed release date but that's alright as long as they get the game all, all correct once it's out I'm I'm going to be happy with it. And judging from the beta at the moment, it's looking amazing. Um, so the game's meant to be out in summer for you Northern Hemisphere people and in winter for us normal people. Um, by normal, I mean Australians, of course. Yeah, you know what I mean. Okay, I'm just looking through my notes here. Um... There's new weapons, which are really good, and if, I think this round is the one, the shotguns, that the shotguns are done very differently, um, they're, they're very effective, yeah, this is the round, they're very effective, oh no, it's not, <laughs> my bad, but the shotguns, they're very effective at close range now, in the game, and they're not effective at all outside like for medium and long distances yeah this is the round that yeah, you'll see it it's it, I like how they've done this it's really good because I didn't like playing well I usually play gun game when I'm playing counter-strike and I didn't like getting killed by a shotgun across the whole map <laughs> which is annoying and there bang killed him and then that one in the old counter-strike he would have been dead two shots by the shotgun no get another guy there and then here Again, me going by my old Counter-Strike laws, think I can kill that guy from a long distance, and BAM. But, there you go, that's a good addition to the game, I like that, actually. Um, those of you who have had beta keys before, you would have known that the bots didn't have any difficulty, and they've added that in one of the most recent updates, which is pretty good. The bots... Difficulties are now no bots at all, harmless bots, easy, medium, hard, and expert bots. And I, I, I'm liking all this. This is this is this is turning out to be a really good game. I've got to say, if you want, if you're thinking about buying it, I'd suggest definitely going and getting it just by playing the beta. It's very good. Also, there's more game modes now for single player with just the bots um, of course when the game comes out there's going to be all your death runs and gun gun games and everything um, but at the moment they've got two new game types they've got gun game and demolition now I haven't played demolition myself yet but that's on my to-do list and I've played gun game now gun game is very good it's, well, it's it's good. <laughs> um, they've got, well, the map I played on was Baggage, 
and it's pretty much an airport baggage collection area. The I played when they still didn't have set difficulty, so I lost. Because the bots were very good. Um, you start off on... I'm not sure, I don't remember what you start off on. Um, sorry about that. But yeah, you start off on something, kill person, go up again. And you can go around knifing people as well. And the final the final gun or weapon is your knife, which is good. That's good fun. And I think there's... you need... 25 kills, I think, to get through all the guns, which is good. It's good fun. And there's there, there are a lot of new guns included in the game as well. Um, they're all... Well, I haven't used all of them yet, but they're looking pretty good. Um, there's also Casual and Competitive Classic. And what, what those are is... Ca they're pretty much what I'm playing now. I'm playing Casual. And on casual, you the only uh, there's a round number difference. Um, competitive is fifteen or twenty rounds, I think. And this one can go up to ten rounds. And also on casual, you get given free Kevlar and helmet. Whilst on competitive, you have to buy buy that. As you can see now in the buy menu. Uh, and it, I like how they've got match point and everything coming down for annotations, so that's really good. And one more thing I've got on my notes here at the moment, and that's the game is coming out on Xbox and PlayStation 3 as well. Now, I don't know how that's going to work because well, when Valve have created their recent games, they... Like, I've got the orange box. Team Fortress 2 is terrible on the Xbox. But it's a fairly good game on PC. And I don't, I don't know how that's going to work, but we'll see how it goes. And there I go, stealing the final kill, like a boss. And I didn't have a very good game, but when I controlled the bots, I was doing pretty good. And that's all I have to talk to, and I'm running out of time now, so goodbye.